Okay then. So last night when I left, I've got the oven box in place. I've got some timber to represent where the gimbal fixings are gonna be. So now I'm gonna start putting the bulkheads in place. I'm gonna put this batten in place so that we can secure the bulkhead against this so that I know it's gonna be perfectly straight as we adjust it to contour to the side of the hull. Since we got moved onto a new cradle, the boat is tipping back quite a lot. So instead of trying to gauge what the angles are, I'm basically going to go off this bulkhead. I know this bulkhead is straight, so I'm going to put this, the exact same spaces between the bulkhead and the box. I'm going to put the exact same spaces between the box and the bulkhead, so everything should be in line. These boards were at a slight want yesterday. I put them on the floor flat with weighted them down, and they're way better than they were yesterday. They're still not perfect, but that will do. Hello. Hey, Bianca. I'm at the boat, yeah. Did you know the voice? Send it to me, I'll do it, and then if you, if it works, it works. Okay, I'll let you know. Okay. Why am I such an idiot? The tool that I need now to cut the end off this is in that box under that oven. So I'm doing the same again with this. I'm just gonna put the set square on, draw some lines, get my trusty stick out with the mark on it, mark against the contour of the hull, and then jigsaw it down. Ooh, where's my special stick? So the dilemma we came across in this episode was that we annoyingly ran out of 18mm marine ply. Therefore, as you can see here, Ben has very cleverly cut down not one, but two pieces of 9mm ply, scribed them to create the same shape, and then with thickened epoxy, stuck them together to create an incredibly strong 18mm bulkhead. Nice. pads aren't holding up very well at all. Maximising the workspace. Ready for epoxying. Although the issue that I have is all the tools that I need are in that corner over there. Oh, I can't get to them. bulkhead is in. I've screwed it in at the top and I've screwed it in the bottom. It's extremely secure. Even though it's held in my two screws, I can feel it's really bulky and really strong, which is amazing. I can't wait to get it cut down. In true sailing run punch fashion, can't really go much further than this. I don't know what we're going to do further forward with this bulkhead just yet. We've got ideas. We're 99% certain on what we want to do, but until we're 100%, we're just going to leave that and we're going to move on to the nav area. Now, the plan for the nav area is relatively straightforward. It's gonna be very similar to what it was before. We're just gonna pull it away from the bulkhead a little because we're gonna use the seat from the sofa. The end of the sofa is gonna be a seat on one side of the nav table, and then there's gonna be the table, and there's gonna be a seat on the pilot berth, pretty much as it was before. We're gonna extend the pilot berth out, and that's gonna be a seat there. I think that's the best way forward. We've had a little measure of how big we think we want the table. We're gonna get a lovely piece of wood to go on top. For now, I'm just gonna make it out of ply just to make sure it fits and it's comfortable. And it, we can sit there with our laptops and charts and everything. And then we are going to go to the timber merchant and see what bit of wood we can get. We've got an idea of what we think we want, but again, we're going to go and have a little look, see if we, what we need to do to finish it, make sure it's going to handle getting a little bit damp. So little things like that, which we need to consider. Happy Saturday, everyone. I am at bed. Obviously, working on the nav table. However, I love a bit of procrastination. An uh, idea has just popped into my head, something that we've been thinking about long ago. Um, I've got everything on the boat, I need to try it out. So I just want to have a quick look at something. Follow me. We've got these little reading lights that we absolutely despise. So we're going to swap them out, and I think I know what with. Oh, I 
of hearts. Didn't work. So. Okay, let's have a little look, see what happens when we offer this up. Here is the first draft of the table. And I very carefully put in these guides down here. It took a couple of bits of bashing, but actually they went in first time. Well, oh, bugger me. Why did that work? Yeah. Yeah, that's sitting on there. Lovely in that corner. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So the next job is to cut these down, cut this down, cut a little notch out of there. And then put the sofa back together and marvel at a hard day's work. So not only have I built the sofa, but I've had a really good tidy as well. So for your interval report of the day, it's quite special because it just feels a little bit, doesn't it? Real. I've just put this little front on here to see what it's gonna look like with the drawers. It's not center, it's too big and everything like that. Um, as you can see, I've just slapped that on there. So obviously you'll see, you can see, you can see what it looks like when the drawers come out. Yeah, so that's gonna be quite cool. We'll probably have two drawers, probably one like to here, pull out with the laptops in it, and then one down here with batteries and chargers and stuff. I've had a little sit seat on the seat, it's quite nice. This actually doesn't feel too close when you're sat on here. We don't actually have to take that much off, which is nice. Obviously just getting in access wise, it'd be nice just to have a little bit, just to help get the legs in. But when you're sat, cause your bum's like actually back here, and it's only your knees that are here, so you're actually already sitting kind of here. So this is actually not too bad. Yeah, this is looking really nice. I've emptied all this out of here as well, put the oven in its spot, cleared all this away. I still need to empty these shelves, but I've cleared all the stuff out of here so I can begin work on here. But yeah, it feels incredibly big. It's absolutely insane. I'm gonna take some more angles. So yeah, so this is quite cool. I just came through here, had a little walk through, and the way it feels when you walk in, and you're just like, oh my goodness, look at this. This is insane, isn't it? It just feels really nice. And I think keeping it simple, keeping it light, once, we, and once we've got the galley in, it's like, cause the galley's gonna be quite far, not far back, but like push back. So it's not gonna encroach on this space, space much at all. So it's just gonna feel really nice and it feels really homely. And uh, let's pull this out as well. There we go. So you can see what that looks like as well. Obviously all this is gonna get cut back. It's gonna be about like here. So that even when that's out, it's gonna be loads of, loads of space to walk through. All right, what's in the box? What's in the box? not arriving today, so you should all know. It feels so big. I really hope I've got the measurements right. I know. It's embarrassing. Right, put it down. Maybe I should get it out, get it out. No, get it down first, then we, don't have to, then we won't damage it. No, there's another box in there. There's two boxes. <laughs> careful, 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 careful. What's in the next box? <laughs> so let's keep it up this, up this way. Okay. Move that back. Got it. Oh. Okay, it's nowhere near as heavy as I thought it was. Yeah, it's good. Okay. This is Ellie, she's also a part of this channel. Hi everyone, 
I'm no see. Don't get used Have to it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, You're next stopping year, by. <laughs> February 2025, you'll see Ellie again. Look, someone's got to bring in the money. Fine, I guess to go to work now. Yeah, all right, off you go. Hi and bye. Find out what's in the box in the next episode in two weeks on Sailing Run Punch.